folks coming up on the boat launch for Lake Welch or Welk. Uh, the big mission today is to I installed the electronics just to get that working, just kind of learn about how to use it, and then um, and then maybe catch a big fish out deep. But that's a secondary goal. So it's going to take a while to set up. Probably see you out on the water. Okay, guys. See my Garmin? We're in about 14 feet of water. Very safe to deploy the pedal drive. Alright, so one thing I'm not sure about. I'm seeing a lot of marks, but like where they are in relation to me, I don't know. Flasher, as if we're ice fishing. I guess this looks right beneath us. Using a an, an underspin here today. Let's see if we can watch our lure go down. Okay. Yep. That's my lure. That might be a fish. Ooh, somebody's coming down for it. It's really cool to see the contours of the bottom. You can see where, like, uh, there's like dramatic depth changes and stuff like that. See, we're very shallow now. We're in like five feet of water, and there's no little bright spots on the graph. I think the darker the spots, like red closer the fish are to your boat. I think it's a view right out in front of you. I'm really not too sure. Let's see if we can find anything farther out. I'm sorry guys if this is boring, but I'm probably only showing this to you if I ended up catching something, so there's that to look forward to. See, this is like no man's land. I'm not seeing anything on the graph. I was seeing a lot before. Oh, here we go. It's getting pretty deep. Again, I don't know how close to the boat. Oh yeah, there's a couple fish out here. Okay. Switch to the drop shot. There's a fish. There's a fish. Oh! Something bit it though. Right underneath us. We had a fish on, boys and girls. That was exciting. Okay, looks like another hump over there holding something. See, now the bottom's just like flat, and I'm not seeing a lot of fish, which makes sense. Seems like there's a few towards the surface over here. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, huge mark. Ooh. It's like a lot of stuff going on over here. Let's see. I don't know what that means. There we go. Let's see what's going on there. There's a fish. That's a fish. Not a bad one. Okay. He's barely hooked, guys. Ah, yes. Yes. I hope we're recording. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, well, it's a nice hog. Probably uh, two and a half pounds. Damn, not a bad fish.
and just like that guys just like that oh we need the pliers just like that hope you're getting good views here this is a nice fish okay look at that big guy big guy let's get the release on and he's good as new okay well took a little while to land him that was dramatic but okay that was awesome that was awesome now we're in much shallower water he must have dragged us around a little bit Need a drink after that one. That was fun, man. The electronics era has begun. I hope it's okay. I mean, these things must be okay to get wet, right? It's a freaking fish finder, for God's sake. All right. Well, damn. That was that was cool, man. I'm gonna get addicted to having a fish finder, man. After that. So we did. <laughs> We did what we set out to do. We got the electronics in the water. We figured it out a little bit and we caught one of these deeper fish. One of these deeper, bigger fish. So, uh, right now we're in like six feet of water, but at the time, I th we'll have to check the, I'll check the tape. You guys, I'm sure, saw maybe, but uh, I think it, we were in like 13 or so at the moment we got the strike okay guys we have some technical difficulties I got a this is extremely loose I actually do have a wrench and an allen key in the car sucks though I couldn't couldn't be farther from where I need to be but I think it's just a very small mechanical issue with the pedals and I have the tools to fix it well I thought I had a wrench but I at least I have the allen key Okay, folks, well, what can I say? I mean, um, not much else happened after that first, what was it, half hour, 45 minutes, but uh, we did what we set out to do. We got the electronics up and running. I'm gonna see when I get home how well you can see stuff at home. Probably not very, not too well, but, and there's obviously a lot I need to learn about this. This was just a dry run to just see if everything worked the way I had it set up but um um you know I don't even know you know which part is far away which part is closer to me like that kind of stuff I was a little lucky catching that fish but I do think the electronics helped with it and even if I'm not catching fish um I like knowing the depths I'm at and where the different contours are and you know where there might be a steep drop, drop off or what have you so it's all good. So yeah, I have a lot to learn about this system when I get home, including like marking waypoints and stuff like that. But um, for now, it's a victory. We're doing great. Okay, so while we are stuck in some inexplicable Tappan Z, oh, I'm sorry, Mario Cuomo bridge traffic outbound on a well, I guess it is a Friday afternoon. Okay, that makes a little more sense. Um, I just want to say that we're, we're, this is just the very next day after what you just saw. Um, I've learned a little bit more about the Garmin. I've watched a few YouTube tutorials, um, just understanding like what the, the quote unquote fish arches, uh, you know, what, I'm supposed to be looking for how the uh, how the transducer the works. It's like it it picks up like a uh, and I guess I knew this like a cone. Like imagine a cone shape under your transducer, and that's what it's picking up. 
So you're not, when you see a fit, and, and it goes from uh, right to left. So um, what you see on the right side of the screen as it like scrolls by is the most recent, you know, thing that's underneath that cone. Um, and as it keeps going to the left, then that's kind of almost like a past image. Um, and you've kind of, you, you know, you're, you've passed, it's, it's out of the, the cone already. So that means that the fish you see on your graph aren't necessarily um, in front of you, although it's, I guess, a little more likely that they are in front of you or under your boat. Um, than like to the sides but um, so it, it's not you don't necessarily know exactly where the fish are but you know like you have a general idea now also I one thing I need to figure out is the um, the colors because a lot of the what I thought were fish arches were kind of like a whitish blue and on the video I watched you know the, and I saw this yesterday as well the uh, the fish arches are more like red with like a yellow or green outline now maybe it works like a vexilar where the colors represent you know how close to your uh, boat the fish actually are where maybe those cooler colors mean that they're a little farther away um, but the other thing that I uh, I'm gonna do today is there's different settings for the for the uh, the visuals where you can actually change it it's more of a beginner setting but that's good for me because I'm a beginner you can actually change it so that the arches actually appear as little fish you know and you can even do it where you get the the arches and the little fish just till you get used to like what to recognize as fish so anyway I think we're gonna try Lake Kanawaki up in the Palisades uh, and uh, who knows how long it's gonna take. I'm getting a 23 minute delay on the GPS, but we'll see you when we get there. Not only am I still in traffic, but now it's pouring, which could actually be a good thing, especially if it stops, but uh, annoying okay finally Lake Kanawaki 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 remember to get this rudder all the way down the, yep. but the seat as you can tell is yeah, giving me all kinds of problems well, no, it broke in half, uh, so I have oh, kind of so a... got a jury rig. Yes, however, oh, did that steel rod just fall... I didn't hear anything, Dick. What was that copper rod doing? So, it broke in half because I, stupidly, when I first got it, didn't put these straps in. And you leaned back. Leaned back and it broke in half. So my qu quick fix, they're sending me a new one, but it's to, yeah, uh, it yeah. just to reinforce it. Yeah. I think it must have fallen through the... Damn it. Damn it. Can't go through the hole, right? Your hole's not open. No, except there's these scupper holes, though. Uh, That's where I th what, what I think happened. That it fell in that? Uh, low, but. <laughs> you know what? You may. Want Ooh, crayfish. <laughs> Bait. Because as you tilt. Oh wait, bottom, found it. Good job. Yeah, it's so. <laughs> now I guess the challenge together. is getting on this damn seat without these just slipping right back out again. Yeah, now you have one on the other side as well? Yes. The, the other problem is I don't have the best balance in the world. There we go. There we go. Okay, folks. Finally. Now it's not very deep at all in this area. There's a lot of wind, so I think I'm going to row for a while. Okay. So... It's a lot of like weedy bottom. It's really hard to tell. You know, if there's a fish in there, that might be a fish. But um, one thing I was telling you about in the car is these settings. So I think it's sonar setup appearance. No. Yes fish symbols. 
There we go. This is what I want. I'm gonna take out our trusty drop shot rod. These are, I think these are just small. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's a decent bass. Get in the boat. Not a bad bass. Borderline two pounder. Okay. Okay buddy, that was a good bite. Thank you sir. Yikes. A couple fish on the graph. Yep. Yep. Either that or I'm stuck. Ugh, I was just stuck. Just stuck. All right. Here's one example of where your bass fishing knowledge just comes into play. I don't see any fish. I mean, I don't think the cone even extends to that tree, but I would be shocked if that tree doesn't hold at least some small bass. So, let's see. See, see what I mean? Electronics are one thing, but sometimes you're, uh, you know, you got to use your old school fishing smarts. I say it as if I'm an expert with the electronics. Don't you dare. Okay, yep, this is more my speed right here. As you all know. Oh, by the way, did you see my silicone red wedding ring? I don't know if I showed that off yet. Okay, guys, so I guess I'm turning this into a two parter just because I didn't catch too many fish, but I will say that the Garmin was very helpful. I'm still kind of figuring out how to use it all the ins and outs, all the intricacies, but um, it is fun to use. And, you know, I can almost guarantee the two good fish I caught, you know, one last night and one tonight, I would not have had any clue in the vast expanse that is the middle of the lake, the deeper parts of the lake, where to look. So as much as, you know, I'm still not getting numbers of good fish I'm getting good fish it's not those you know under the tree little guys so um, this is still promising um, got a couple uh, issues right now with the kayak um, I'm probably gonna put it away for like a week but um uh, you know just not nothing I can't fix but um oh in the chair they're sending me the chair the chair is on the way yes 
So anyway, guys, I hope you're liking what you're seeing. I'm having a good time learning the kayak, learning the electronics, just doing some different kind of fishing. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please do me a favor and smash that subscribe button. Tell your friends, tell your family, make sure to give it a like. And other than that, guys, it's time for me to sign off and go home. So fish like there's no tomorrow.